Here on the Ostrom 2 term, today we're going to be looking at uh, measures of inflation. So, we're going to be looking at the CPI and the PPI. So, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, it's a weighted basket of goods and services, and it's wasted, uh, weighted based on the proportion of income spent on each item. Okay? And it's, a, it's carried out through a family expenditure survey, which is updated annually, and basically measures... Me measures how much consumers, how much households spend on goods and services, okay? The producer price index, it's a relative measure of the average change in price of goods and services sold by producers and manufacturers at the wholesale market, okay? And the important thing about the PPI is it's an indicator of future trends in the pattern of inflation, okay? The main difference between CPI and PPI is the Consumer Price Index measures how much consumers spend on goods and services. So consumers. Producer Price Index it measures how much producers receive. So producers and manufacturers, the average change in price of the basket of goods and services sold by them. Okay? And it also differs in terms of the composition of goods and services it covers the types of prices collected, the extent of coverage, um, the extent of coverage uh, of the services sector. Um, for example, okay, the producer price index measures uh, goods and services at all levels of production, all levels of output. So it also measures goods, unfinished goods and services used in the chain of production. Okay, whereas CPI measures, it, 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 CPI depends on households purchasing finished goods and services, okay? But you don't necessarily need to know the, the difference between them. You just need to know and learn some key points about them, which might come up in your exam, okay? For example, multiple choice, or maybe a four marker and data response. This has been The Awesome Tutor. Bye.